In the past, if you wanted to add a website to your announcement loop, maybe you wanted to make an announcement about your church website, etc., the way that you would do that is go to View Web. And you'll see that I've already got my website here with ProPresenter 5 tutorials. Now, in order to show that, I would have to click over here on show and then that would supersede this although you wouldn't see it here so that has remained the same but renewed vision has heard our cries and they've added in a new feature so what we can do is we can add in a new slide and then we can select it and go to the editor now you didn't necessarily have to select it and then go to the editor. You could have just gone to the editor and added it, but whichever. Now you'll see we've got this little button, HTML. That does not mean that you can put HTML code in here and create a new slide as you would a website. What that means is you can add a website as a slide. So if you wanted to make an announcement, saying that your church had uh, just changed your website, you would select this gear icon right over here, select the text as I've already done, and put in your uh, church website. So in this case, I'm going to add uh, Learn Pro Presenter Fast.com. Now it'll take it a second to update, but there you see that I also need to update LearnProPresenterFast.com. But this means I don't have to go into um, Photoshop to create this or anything like this. I can just do it here in ProPresenter. Now I could put in the URL here. Uh, I'll check out my new training at Learn Pro Fast.com. And I can move this up a bit. And this is live, so as I change that on the site, I can have it change here. So this would be apparent, really good for people that are doing presentations. I can go in here and I can have it continuously render or refresh every 10 seconds or 60 seconds. Let's say I change it every 60 seconds. In this case it's not going to affect this, but if I had like a looping slide, every time you showed this it would be a little bit different. So that would be something very cool as well. And as we said earlier, I can add build-ins and build-outs. So we can um, push that in. And then I can build this in as well. Let's uh, have that. Da, da, da. Let's have that reveal from the top. So like that. And let's see what that looks like. So not exactly what I had in mind, but you'll see that you can do some really cool stuff without taking it into Photoshop and or uh, into some video editing software. 